Welcome to Summer Awesome Games, my name is Rob. Now Marvel's Iron Man VR game on PlayStation 4 is filled with easter eggs pulling from all over Marvel Comics rich history. Let's take a look at a few sneaky ones. We're just going to scroll straight past the possible rocks on floating private island that got destroyed and have a look at Bambi Arbogast. She first appeared in 1979 in Iron Man 118. Bambi has been a recurring character from the comics and serves as Tony Stark's personal assistant. She has continued to pop up well into recent years. And while this next one's not quite a subtle easter egg and more of an easter bunny, everyone's favourite evil gene therapy corporation Oscorp makes an appearance. While Spider-Man is hanging out in his own PlayStation exclusive title, this is the closest we'll get to having him in Tony Stark's VR world. But what about this strange photo hidden in a bottom drawer? Amazing! How did you ever guess that this is a reference to Kinda Funny's Greg Miller? Man, if only we could look this good while playing. And don't look away because here is Abraham Zimmer who first appeared in Iron Man 219 in 1987. What makes him relevant here is he was the first person to have noticed Ghost at Stark Enterprises. While he is a super genius, everyone thought he was losing his marbles, but like in this game, ultimately, they were proven that Ghost does exist. What do we have here? Life model decoys, that sounds like a strange tale. Uh, James Rhodes, we all know James Rhodes, War Machine. While we don't get a War Machine skin in this game, we do get a chance to fly around as the Iron Patriot. While on the subject of Rhodey, you might have missed a secret phone call dropping some Carol Danver, aka Captain Marvel dating bombs. But when all this is over, we should have him and Carol over for dinner. I don't want to jinx it, but that seems to be going well. Well, sure. Honestly, I'm as shocked as you are, but let's look at some buildings. Here we see Stark Tower established in February of 1998 with a permit ID of IMV 3.1 which is actually Iron Man Volume 3, number one, and was released in 1998 and is the first appearance of Stark Tower. So you see where we're going with this. We've got the Lotus Restaurant, owned by Philip Chang, established September 1978. Permit ID, ASMV1, 184. Or, as we can work out now, is really a reference to its first appearance in The Amazing Spider-Man, Volume 1, number 184. Alright, how about Rosemans? If you've played Marvel's Spider-Man on PlayStation 4, that name might sound familiar as it's the art dealer that Fisk uses to hide information on Devil's Breath. So, we can see its established date is the game release of September 2018, but its permit ID is E1048, which is not the volume or the name of the game, but the actual universe the game takes place in, Earth 1048. And our last building here is the Brand Corporation, established March 1972 with an ID of AAV2.11, or The Amazing Adventures Volume 2, number 11. That was kind of cool, right? That's a real sneaky one. Uh, Alright, let's take a look. What else should we see? There's uh, Future Farm, Creators of Extremis, Happy Hogan. Everyone knows Happy, the chauffeur. Most people would know him played by Jon Favreau in the MCU and director of Iron Man and Iron Man 2. Uh, what about this? We'll end on a name drop. Huh, this is new. Friday, what's this blip in the North Pacific? A maritime distress signal, sir. Anyone closer we can alert? Namor? No, sir. Alright, so what is so special about Nemo, the submariner as he is known? Well, he's from the first motion picture Funnies Weekly, which was published in 1939 for movie theaters. These comics were only several months away from being the beginning of Marvel Comics, so it all started there. Now, like most Marvel properties, there's Easter eggs around every corner, and Iron Man VR is no exception, so suit up. And I hope this has inspired you to look a little bit harder at the game you're playing.